Hi Spencer, I, I hope your uh, math studies are going well for this uh, chapter test. Uh, you know, I got your email, so I just wanted to um, address question. I, I just wanted to go over question two G with you here. Um, before I can answer your question here, um, I hope you're okay with the first uh, two steps to the first two steps to solve this problem here. Uh, you should recognize that you have uh, these expressions on the denominator, and whenever you have like a term there on one side and a term there on the other side and if those terms are fractions you can actually apply the crisscross method so the first thing I'm going to do for this problem is I'm going to move uh, this 1 minus x up there to the top right hand corner and I'm going to move the 1 minus 2x to the top left hand corner now if I do that this uh, 2 that I'm highlighting in blue that's going to remain there too and then I have an open bracket of 1 minus 2x okay and then I'm gonna add an equal sign here. And then this uh, blue three, well, that's not gonna change anymore. So that's gonna remain as a three. I'll highlight in blue. And this part here in green, I mean, that's just gonna go right next to it. So that's gonna be one minus X, okay? So that's step number one. Just apply the crisscross method. If you have something on the denominators, move them to the opposite side in the top corners, okay? Uh, after that, you wanna distribute, okay? So distribute right through. Two times one is two. Two times negative two is negative four X, okay? That's gonna to equal to, um, well, three times one is three, and three times negative three is negative three x, okay? So I just wanna kinda of put a box around here because uh, I, I feel like most students are okay with this step right here, but what you wanna do now is you wanna get the letters on one side and the numbers on the other hand, on the, on the other side. So right now I have a negative four x right here and I have a negative three X over here, okay? So those expressions both have letters, so I wanna keep get the letters on the same side. It doesn't really matter if I move the letters to the left-hand side or the right-hand side, as long as I change the sign properly, okay? For example, if I bring this negative four over to the right-hand side, then this negative sign must change to a positive. So then I'll have negative three X plus four X. Okay, so this is gonna to change to positive. And then if I, uh, if I take this three and bring it to the other hand side, I get uh, two. Well, this two right here is this two there. And since uh, this yellow three is positive, if I bring it to the other side, it's gonna become negative three. Okay, that's the key there, it's gonna be a negative three. Okay, and then from here on, just go right ahead and simplify the left hand side and the right hand side. I mean, what is two minus three? Well, two minus three, that's gonna be negative one. And negative three, negative three x plus four x is gonna be just x. So that's how, I, that's how I get x equals to negative one. Okay, now Spencer, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna erase all this and I'm gonna go, go back to this box right here. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna erase all this and I'm just gonna go back to this original step right here. This is gonna be two minus four x equals to three minus three x. Okay, so another thing that you could do to solve this problem, I'll put a box around this, uh, this expression right here. Well, you could take this negative three X and you can move that to the left-hand side. And if you move that to the left-hand side, this negative sign will become positive. So here's my negative four X on the left-hand side. So this negative four X, that's not changing, right? That stays the same. But this negative three X, and I'm circling right there, if you bring that to the other side, that's gonna be positive three X and that's gonna equal to three and this three right here is this three right there. And then I, and then I need to move this, uh, you know, this purple two. So if I move that to the other side, um, it's gonna be, well, right now it's positive two, right? So right now this is positive. If I move to the other hand, it's gonna be negative, right? So after that, you just simplify the left-hand side and the right-hand side, uh, three minus three minus two, that's gonna be one. And uh, this expression right here, um, I, I have a feeling that a lot of students <laughs> Are probably struggling with this okay so Spencer if you got the question wrong here you may have got this part wrong here but um, this expression negative uh, 4x plus 3x that's the same thing as 3x minus 4x all right so uh, 3x minus 4x that's gonna be negative 1x so negative 4x plus 3x is gonna be negative 1x so this is gonna be negative 1x okay now the problem here is you have this minus sign here all right, now you need to get rid of that. Now, how to get rid of that minus sign? Well, you can just move it to the other side. Just move it to the other side so that now your answer should be x equals to negative one. Okay, so here is why your answer is indeed negative one. Anyways, I hope that helps. Uh, if it doesn't help, uh, please see me uh, tomorrow morning uh, before school starts. I'll be at school by 7.30.
All right, see you, Spencer.